To customize our tab and navigator via options, uh, what we can do, just like we did with our stack navigator, is pass an options object or an options function. What we'll do is go ahead and add an icon to each one of our tab our icons down here. So I'm going to go ahead and import ion icons from at expo slash vector icons. And then we can go ahead and go down to our contacts and our actions screens or tabs. In here, I'll go ahead and add an options object. And inside of here, we can go ahead and return a tab bar icon. And this tab bar icon is going to be a function. And from here, we can go ahead and return our ion icons, which takes a name. For this one, we're going to set it to iOS-contacts. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for our action screen. This one's icon name is going to be iOS-checkmark-circle-outline. And here you can see our actual icons. Now obviously these icons aren't the right color and they're too small. Well, to our tab bar icon function, we actually have arguments of props. In these props, we can go ahead and grab a size, which we can go ahead and pass down. Size is equal to props.size. We can also grab a color, which is going to equal props.color. So now when we look at it, you can see we've got a bigger icon size. Uh, it needs to just be prop.color to get the color. And you can see the actual icon is going to be the right color for when we're changing our different states. Alternatively, there's access to props.focused, which is going to tell you is the current tab the active one, the focused one. If it is, maybe you can go ahead and actually change which icon you're using. So with the tab bar icon, you've got access to props.size, color, and focused. Let's go ahead and use these same properties down here on our actions tab. Now, let's say we want to do some global changes. Well, we've got the default of setting the, let's say, the name of each tab. We can go ahead and via screen options, we can set the tab bar label and just say test. Let's see what happens. We can see down here we've got a test label. Because we're not overriding our tab bar label, it's just going to use test for all of them. But we can go, go ahead and change our tab bar label to contacts to go ahead and override that property. And now you can see Using screen options, we were, were able to set our default options. So that's easy enough. But let's go ahead and get rid of that. And let's say we want to change what our actual tab bar looks like. For example, we may want to change what the active tint color is here. To do something like that, we'll go ahead and pass a prop of tab bar options to our app tabs.navigator. And inside of here, we've got access to a variety of things that we can actually customize. For example, we can set the active tint color to be red rather than this default blue. So now you can see that when something is active, it's going to use that red color. We could also go ahead and set the active background color to blue. We could just make some really ugly thing, but it gives you a sense of what is actually what the actual tab area is down here in the tab bar. It also allows you to see that when you're using a tab navigator or a stack navigator where it's actually going to use safe areas by default so you don't have to do anything to make sure you're avoiding the notch at the top of the screen or the uh, home or activity indicator down at the bottom. React Navigation is going to handle all of that for you and then you can just go ahead and start customizing things to your heart's content to make it look and act however you want it to.